Hey guys, Glockster42. Just a quick little uh, blurp on brushes. Um, I'm kind of a brush snob and uh, you know you spend a little bit more money on your brushes you're definitely going to uh, have better results. So some of my favorite brushes are these Tamiya brushes. Uh, this is the uh, HF standard set. They're made in China but these are extremely nice brush. Uh, I really like the Zero and the um, I'm not sure which it is. Stock numbers is 87046 and 87048. These are these are superb brushes for for painting faces and figures. I really really like them. They are they, they work just they work just excellent. Oh, I see this one they've changed it up here. I've got one as a flat brush and one as a detail brush. The detail brushes are superb. And here's the one I was looking for. It's 87049. That is just a superb brush. Like that's 750 and this kit and this one is 1399. So basically it's almost a, a buy two get one free in the package like this. Mind you of course where I bought this. These guys, their prices are just honestly they're stupid. I don't know how they're still in business. But anyway. Um the Duncan brushes, white sable, they're not bad. I've had this double O brush for years and years. It's getting pretty rough, but for little detail washes, it's good. I'm not crazy about these uh, IMAX brushes. The um, I know a lot of guys say, you know, go natural, go natural, but I, I'm getting to a point where I prefer the synthetic brushes, uh, the synthetic tips. They just seem to work so much better. I do have one here. This is a white sable. It's um, a Robert Simmons number four. It's an extremely nice brush. It's very good. Now it's this is probably about a nine dollar brush, but like I say, you get one of these brushes, and uh, it's going to last you. This this one here is probably ten years old. Now coming to my favorite brushes are these low Cornell brushes, the seven thousand C in a three O, and their seven ninety five round series white nylon. They're synthetic brush, but oh, they are just they hold up. They hold the paint nice. They flow good. Highly, highly recommended, guys. Now, this brush is about nine dollars up here in Michaels. If you can find it, maybe ten dollars in a specialty art store. I went online last night and I just googled in Lowell Corel, and I found a place in the states. This nine dollar brush up here was a regular price for two dollars and fifty cents. So even with um, shipping, handling, uh, money exchange, it's still half price of what we're going to pay up here. Now another set of brushes that's pretty, you know, it's probably fairly common in uh, is the Citadel brushes. Not recommended, guys. Um, these two brushes cost me about 15 bucks tax in, and I don't like I don't like the way the paint flows out of the brush. Now, um, I'm not really crazy about it at all. They have a very very soft the very very soft so they don't tend to flow nicely and once you get them loaded up with paint they they tend to droop a bit so that's kind of one of the negatives about them you know it's better than a kick in the teeth and it's better than nothing but honestly these are not what I would probably build my brush sets about around you can't go wrong with the Tamiya brushes they're superb brushes and if you can find these low coral brushes they're awesome like I say, IMAX brushes, man, bottom of my list as well as the Citadel brushes. All right, guys, just a little quick primer on uh, the kinds of paint brushes I use, and uh, we'll go from there. Later, guys.